Hello, my name is Madeline Potter. You can call me Maddie, and I'm here to talk to you all today about cicadas. I'm going to share a little presentation with you all about cicadas, and I'm also going to talk about what I do as my job. So a little bit more about me. I am an entomologist, and this is a scientist who studies insects. So yes, I get to study bugs, I get to hold them, I get to learn all about them. And what's cool about insects is they're really important for our environment. They're the reason we have plants because of our pollinators like our bees and our butterflies. And we need plants to grow our fruits and vegetables. And that's where most of our food comes from. Um, Insects are also really diverse. There is thousands, if not millions, if not gazillions of types of bugs out there. And there's even bugs we haven't discovered yet. So I get to go outside and look at bugs and learn more about them. And I also get to go into my laboratory and use my microscope to magnify bugs and see them up close. Bugs can have lots of different colors. We can see with this moth up here, we have colors like pink and black and brown and yellow, and we can see spots that look like eyes in their wings. And so bugs are not only cool to hold, but they're also really cool to look at up close and to just learn more about them. So when I was your age, I did not like bugs very much. I used to say, ew. I used to scream when I would see a spider but that changed over time. So if you already like bugs, that's awesome. If you're not sure about bugs yet, or you think they're gross, or you're a little afraid of them, that's okay too. Because I started off, as we can see on this first picture, I'm holding a cicada in my hands, and you can see my face is all scrunched up, and I wasn't sure about cicadas. I was saying, ew, I don't know what this bug is, but I started to get curious. I started to look at them up close, look at all the different colors and patterns on their bodies. I started to listen to the songs that they would make outside. And I started to get a little more interested in these bugs. And I went from saying, ew, to these bugs are pretty cool. And I started to look at them a little bit more. Like in this middle picture, I'm here with my younger sister, Abby. And we started holding and playing with them and just getting a little more curious. And now going from today, I started learning more and more about insects as I got older. And that allowed me to like them a little bit more and to go from these bugs are pretty cool to I love holding and learning about bugs. And as, as we can see with this last picture, I'm holding a furry tarantula. And I used to be afraid of spiders, but once I held her, her name is Rosie the tarantula. I started to see how gentle and how calm she can be um, and all the different little hairs that she has on her back, which is pretty cool to see and to feel. So now we'll get into learning about cicadas today. So what are cicadas? Cicadas are bugs that have wings. They have six pairs of legs. They have two antenna on top of their head and two big eyes at the top of their head as well. And what's important about cicadas is they have what's called a sucking mouth part, which is like a long straw coming out of the bottom of their face. So if we see this big picture over here circled in yellow, we can see this giant straw coming out from the bottom of their face. And they use this to slurp up plant juice. So that is their food. These guys are vegetarian, so they only eat plant juice using that straw-like mouth part out of the front of their face. So why are cicadas so special? Why is everyone talking about cicadas right now? What's, what's the fuss about these cicadas? So these cicadas only come out of the ground. They only emerge and appear in our environment every 17 years. That's crazy to think about. That's older than you guys. So this is a group of cicadas that are their old cicadas. They're 17 years old, they're teenagers, and they all emerge at once in these large numbers. And scientists have named this group of cicadas Brood 10 or Brood X. They can call them Brood X as well. And they emerge all at once. They go up into the treetops 
and they have this giant party. It's like a cicada palooza and they're all up there singing um, and having a good time. So we'll go through the cicada life cycle, which is pretty cool, especially since they live for over 17 years. So think back to 17 years ago. This is before you were even born. So the last time these cicadas emerged, 17 years ago, all the mama cicadas were laying their eggs in tree branches. So they were up in the treetops. She laid her eggs in the tree branches. And then a couple weeks later, these eggs will hatch and the baby cicadas fall from the treetops and fall down to the ground. They don't get hurt. They're totally fine. It's almost like they parachute down to the ground, as we can see here. And once they get to the ground, they dig down with their front legs and they create tunnels down into the soil. So now they're going underground. Now, why are they going underground? They're going underground because they like to slurp up that plant juice from tree roots. So we can look at here over on the right, we have all these baby cicadas underground and they're gonna use that straw-like mouth part to suck on tree roots and to slurp up that plant juice. So why does it take 17 years for them to grow? Now this is because they only drink plant juice. So they don't eat any other food. They don't eat leaves. They don't eat other insects or animals. They only feed on plant juice. So imagine if you were only drinking juice, it would take you a while to grow up and to get bigger and taller. And so it takes them 17 years to slowly develop and to grow. And so after these 17 years, which is happening this year, any day now, they're making these holes in the ground and they're beginning to burrow their way up. So they're almost ready to emerge. They've done all this growing for 17 years and they make these holes, they peek their head up above ground to see what's going on, to see if it's warm out because they wanna be out in the spring and the summer sunshine. So they start making these holes. You may see these holes already in your backyard around the base of trees, you may see them in parks. And the width of these holes are about the size of the end of your thumb. So if you see all these holes in the ground, that means baby cicadas are burrowing their way up and just peeking out, getting ready to emerge. So one day, which is coming up soon when it's warm enough, with the cover of night so that they can hide from anything that wants to eat them, they're all going to emerge from the ground at once. So they get all together. They know it's, re it's time. It's ready to start that party, that cicada palooza. We'll begin to crawl out of their holes and they're then they're going to find tall trees to climb up. They may get a little confused and they may also start to climb up the sides of buildings or cars, but they're mainly looking for trees. So we can see over here on the right, these baby cicadas have emerged and they're beginning to climb up the trees as high as they can go. Now, why are they climbing up these trees? They need the trees so they can hang upside down, they can hang backwards so that they can molt, which means they're coming out of their baby skin and coming into their adult skin. So leaving their baby body and emerging into their adult bodies, similar to how snakes shed their skin. So again, this is called molting when they leave their baby skin, get into their adult skin. And we're gonna watch a little video here. This video is sped up, so it's faster than it usually takes for this molting process, but it's pretty cool to watch. So watch closely. We can see the cicada is starting to break free from its old skin or sometimes it's called a shell. It's hanging backwards so it can come out of that skin. And then we can see these white yellow wings beginning to inflate and to pop out. And these are the wings that it will use to fly. So when these cicadas first come out of their baby skin into their adult form, they're a white or light color to their body.
but after a couple hours, their body begins to darken. So the main part of their body becomes black and then their wings have this bright orange venation. And then they tend to have these bright red eyes <clears throat> at the top of their heads, but sometimes they can have different colored eyes as we can see maybe some orange colored eyes or some blue colored eyes, just like how you and I have different colored eyes. Some people have blue eyes, some people have brown eyes, some people have green eyes. And so these cicadas are up in the treetop and then all the boy cicadas get together and they start to sing. They start to make this loud song. And the reason why they're making this loud song is they want to attract females. They want to let the females know that they want to be daddy cicadas so they can create cicada babies. And so we can hear this loud song that we'll eventually hear outside. I'm going to play the song for you. So all the boy cicadas get together in a big group so they can make the song as loud as possible so they can let the female or the girl cicadas know that it is time to have a party, to get together, and to make some baby cicadas. And so once the, the girl cicadas hear this song, they'll come over to the boy cicadas and they'll have a good time. So an important thing about cicadas is they are a part of the circle of life, the food web, because they provide food for lots of animals. So lots of animals like to eat cicadas, including raccoons, birds, turtles, squirrels, maybe even your pets, like your dogs outside. These cicadas can be really delicious for all these different types of animals. And it's like a big buffet once all these cicadas emerge. So how do cicadas survive if lots of animals like to eat them? So this is the thing. This is why they emerge in such large numbers. There's going to be gazillions of cicadas emerging all at the same time. So since there are a lot of cicadas, there are enough cicadas to fill the bellies of the predators. The predators like our squirrels, our raccoons, and our birds, they eat all they can, they get really full, and then the rest of the cicadas, there's plenty of cicadas left over to get together, to mate, and to make more baby cicadas that will eventually hatch, go back into the ground for 17 years, and we'll see them again 17 years later. So why should you love cicadas? Why do I love cicadas? Well, a big part of it is the fact that they provide food for all of our wildlife outside, for our birds, like I said, even for our dogs. We may see our dogs eating them outside. And they're not only providing food for our animals, but they're also providing food for our plants. Now, how do they do this? Well, the cicadas that don't get eaten the adult cicadas will eventually die from old age, they'll fall to the soil, and then they'll decompose, they'll break down, and they'll provide nutrients and food for the plants. So the very trees that they were feeding on and they grew up on and had their party in, they're going to provide plant food for down into the soil. So providing food for animals and for plants. Some other reasons to love cicadas is they produce this cool sound that we're going to be hearing outside. It's going to sound pretty cool. Some people describe it as almost like alien noises, kind of like a, a science fiction film outside. It can be pretty cool to hear. They're really fun to hold. As I showed my sister and I, really had a lot of fun holding them the last time they emerged. They're really slow and they're really clumsy flyers, which may be why when you're walking outside, one might land on you by accident. They may mistake you for a tree and all you need to do is to pick them up. You can look at them a little bit and then throw them back into the air and they'll fly and meet their friends up in the treetop. So 
don't be afraid to pick them up, to look at them up close and take a look at the different colors they have. Check out what color eyes they have. Some other things is like we saw these cicadas molt and they leave their baby skin or we can call this a baby shell. And these shells are going to be everywhere because there are a lot of cicadas emerging. They're all gonna be molting, leaving their baby skin behind. And people can do crafts with these shells. You can collect them. You can put them on a string, wear them as a necklace or a bracelet. You can paint them different colors. And some people have even created these action figures with the cicada shell, which is pretty cool. So lots of things we can do to recycle and to do some crafts with these cicada shells. So with that, uh, Charlie, our baby cicada here is waving goodbye and saying, we'll see you soon. They're eventually going to be emerging from the ground any day now. So be on the lookout for those holes in the ground, meaning that the baby cicadas are peeking their head up. They're checking out to see if it's warm enough. And eventually, all together, they'll decide and begin to emerge from the ground. And we'll begin to see them in the trees. So if you're afraid of cicadas, you can learn more about them. You can ask your teacher or your parents, your family members. Um, any questions that you may have about cicadas and feel free to hold them, to pick them up and to see what these cicadas are all about. These cicadas cannot hurt us. All they have is a little straw and all they're interested in is, is plant juice. So they can't bite us, they can't sting us. All they're doing is flying around. Sometimes they're a little clumsy. They may accidentally land on us, but you can always take them off and throw them back into the air and they'll fly away. Just got a wave to them. Goodbye, Cicada. So with that, I would like to thank you all for, for learning more about cicadas, for learning more about insects. I would just say stay curious um, and have fun. <laughs>